If someone has a problem with what I'm about to say, they don't have a problem with me. They have a problem with the Catholic Church's teaching. So here are some of the non-negotiables. One party thinks that if you're a grown man and you feel like a woman, that you can use the girl's bathroom. The other party finds that abhorrent. There's one party who thinks that children from preschool age on up should be taught LGBTQ sex education. The other party is against that. It's not on the party platform, but one party has tons and tons of members that openly advocate defunding the police, weakening the stability of our community. Nobody in the other party supports that. One party has been increasingly compromising religious liberty for years. I could give you a dozen examples. But their latest thing is taking out one nation under God in our pledge. The other party supports religious liberty. There is one person on one of the major tickets, a vice presidential candidate, who has openly said, and it's on video, that if you're a member of the Knights of Columbus, you are disqualified for being a federal judge. There's one party who believes that you can kill a baby up until the moment it is being born. You can dismember the baby in the womb and that taxpayers should pay for it. The other party finds that abhorrent as well. Our Catholic faith must accompany us into the voting booth. There are many issues that we can debate, but the most important issues are non-negotiable. We might think that a candidate is a pompous jerk, but it doesn't matter. Because we shouldn't be voting for personalities, we should be voting for policy. Our hatred for a particular candidate must never be greater than our desire to protect 4,000 babies that die by abortion every day in our country.